I think there's several ingredients for innovation, and one of them is being up against a wall. When you're up against the wall and you don't have somewhere to go, you don't have the comfort of a job, you graduate and you have this degree and there's this narrative that has been sold to you since you were in elementary school that you go to college and you graduate and if you did A, B, C, you got X, Y, Z as a career and that promise failed. And so now I'm kind of rethinking currency and for me the number one most important currency is time and that's what I have to give. That leads to innovation and it's what, it's the main ingredients for what, how Paper Darts got started. We publish a literary arts magazine in print and we also publish every day on our website. You know, one thing about Paper Darts is we really value um, graphics, but we pair all of our pieces, fiction, poetry, nonfiction, with um, art. You know, when you're young and um, the, with the economy being as unstable, I think if there's anything that I've learned, it's to be as busy as possible and as involved as possible in a lot of different ways. You have your career, you have your hobbies, you have your vocation, you have these side projects. It's time for people to start not looking to the system for answers, but to really look inside and to figure out how can you create your own opportunity. You know, in my day job, I work for the Charities Review Council, a very nonprofit sector focused. Um, and then by night, I like put on my literary super cape and then go out into the world publishing literature and fiction. And um, it's kind of this weird juxtaposing world, but it's kind of this new non-traditional resume. The, the old method isn't working. You have to, uh, the, new, the new economy looks different. So how can you make yourself as marketable as possible?